And that's a good ball to Nkrumah. Not a bad cross. How did he miss that header? Well, he just mistimed the jump, Chris. That was a problem. Jumped a bit too early in anticipation. Once again, a lovely delivery. Just jumped too early. Stephen Aye, it was. And uh, it's going to be go kick. More headed there. Olympics. Well, the box hit, kicked out there. It's going to be a throw into hard to work. Well, even though they scored the third goal, they're, they're less than settled, they're less than comfortable. They really rattled the Olympics. The ball already out as a corner kick. And I think Felix Baffle doing quite a bit out there, board secretary. And a Thompson of Hearts of Oak to uh, extreme right. Ball curled in. Confusion galore. In defense and in attack. Was this sweet, lovely ball comes over. There's no communication, is there, between the two of them? None at all. And just about 20-odd uh, minutes to end this particular game. And Olympics, by dint of the scoreline, clearly in the driving seat. Can't say the same about possession, though. Hearts of Oak seem to have most of it. But what to do with it seems to be the problem. And a long ball in. Oh! Is that tackle in the box or outside? It's outside. Uh, it's a free kick. Saw a similar challenge being given as a penalty during the playoffs, National yeah. Division One. Mediama versus Dwarves, I remember correctly. But uh, on the other side. Meanwhile, Samuel AC is about to be brought on for Hearts of Oak. I'll just see how things pan out for him as he comes on. I think the uh, fourth official should stand on the box so that we can all see who the substitutes are. No, he, no, come on, he's all right. Surely you don't mean to suggest that he's vertically challenged. <laughs> he's definitely very short. Anyway, we'll take a look at the free kick. The Olympics are about to execute in. And surely if they score now, it should be game over. And why did I even get my hopes up? <laughs> I mean, they just, uh, I just can't believe them. I mean, do they understand what a free kick is and, and how they can profit from it? Because they've whipped everything over the bar. I just can't understand it. They just keep doing it time after time after time. But meanwhile, a bit of an attack there, cut out by Hearts of Oak. Well, cleared inside. Good header. And Tego has not looked bad since coming on. And there's a chance. And he races past this man. Drag well, down. That's a penalty. And that's a red card. It's an early shower. I think I wrote, I wrote an article recently talking about last defenders. They commit the fouls and eventually get yellow cards and stuff. Wellington. Having none of it gives a straight red. And clearly. Yeah, it's very, very clear. Goal scoring opportunity. He's past the last man. He goes down. And we'll have to wait and see whether Olympics will convert their penalty. And if they do, my money is on them taking the Millennium City Challenge well, Cup. It's all about who's going to take it. Is it Tego? Dormant? Oh, super penalty. Absolute. Brilliantly taking penalty. And look at look at the dignitaries congratulating themselves. I'll confirm for you who took that penalty in a bit. Well, that's really Clotte. Emmanuel Clotte. 
Well, would you believe it? It's Accra Hatsburg 1, Olympics 4. Look at that. That was cool. The cool operator. Brilliantly taken. And that's confirmation of the red card. So Hatsburg not, not only are down by four goals to one, but they're down to ten men. Is it damage limitation or are they going to go all out? Well, I think they've got to go all out. There's no damage limitation that can be done now. 4-1. And Olympics. Lotte, Tego, he has really revitalized Olympics since coming on. Your skill, that's very well. Going forward, the referee spotted that he was going to go down, so allowed play to continue. Good decision by the referee. And that's Felix Baffo, trying to lay off that ball. Edmund Sechi. Close to losing that particular ball, but eventually gets help. Well, hard to work, get possession again, and Felix Bafo decides to go for goal. But uh, a Japan got his ball behind the ball. And clearly, someone can't deal with uh, the spectrum of Olympics leading hard by four goals to one. And so he's screaming into another microphone that is audible and can be heard. Stranger things have happened in football, I suppose. Hard to work. And Ishmaelai. Good skill there by Abanga. Went down, it's a free kick to Hard to work. Yeah, you're right. I don't think he has 0 0.5 of a pack. <laughs> I think the entire pack is gone. <laughs> I think the entire pack is gone. Yeah, you could be right. And of course, Hearts of Oak, Abanga. Oh, too much weight behind that particular pass. Goes out. Been doing his best in the midfield. Certainly got great potential. Potential to watch next season. Him and Ishmael Ai in the midfield. Certainly something that can be looked out for. Tego. Tego again. And look at that, Clote. Well, there's actually Wilfred Dorman. Well, that wasn't too far off either. An Olympic looking such a good team. This is not to say that the football has been exhilarating per se, but for them to leave 4-1, you ask why on earth were they relegated? Well, because they didn't have those guest players playing, Chris. That's the answer to that one. And uh, Ishmaelai being taken off. And Alaji Alassan, who scored that scorcher against Heart of Lions, comes on. He's worked hard, Ishmaelai. And this is a chance for Olympics! Well, that wouldn't have counted anyway. Scored offside. Well, he couldn't even put it in the back of the net. And that's amazing. Angelo, 